Hey guys, it's Saturday the 23rd of May and recently we've had this real big problem with the online version of mBlock. That's ide.mblock.cc as you can see on the screen, which uh, is using mLink. Uh, we're using 1.4.0 on a Mac OS and I also have one on uh, the Windows on Bootcamp as well as on my MacBook uh, for Mac OS and Bootcamp uh, Windows for both uh, computers. And what's wrong with it? Well, let me show you. Okay, now, first of all, the best way to demonstrate is uh, I have this Arduino Uno board, or at least a, a working clone of the Arduino Uno board, and it's connected via USB port. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this simple program. Oh, by the way, I'm going to choose Arduino Uno board, and we already have the program on the screen. So we're going to make the onboard uh, LED light up for one second and light off for one second and it's going to go in a forever loop okay so it's just a matter of pressing connect All right so it connects with no problem All right the connection is not a problem but when it comes to the upload we get this upload failed window and no matter how many times you do it, you still have the same problem. Now, on the uh, left screen, this is the offline version of mBlock. This is the one you actually install onto your computer. Uh, I have the Mac OS one and I have the Windows one. This is mBlock version 5 because I'm using uh, Catalina 64-bit OS. It does not work with mBlock 3 anymore, so we have to use mBlock 5. So with uh, mBlock 5, so what I do is I've got the same uh, similar program, Arduino Uno board, and uh, I can connect. Oh, first and foremost, I've got to disconnect it from the online mBlock. So if I connect down in the corner, see right there? And let's try and connect this thing. All right, there we go. Okay, and once I upload it, right, that is what you're supposed to get. It only seems to work with the uh, offline version of mBlock, but the online version, it does not work for some reason. Although a week ago, it was fine. And just to make sure that it's working, if you check the board, right, you can see the light is flashing on and off. Just like that. So uh, it is working. Now, it's not just restricted to only the Arduino Uno board. Uh, we also have the same problem with the Nano as well. So uh, if I were to take this, and if I, let's say we disconnect this, we'll put that aside, and let's get our mini USB wire. This is a Thunderbolt drive. I do have another USB port there. So, uh, but anyway, I'll just uh, jam this in. Let's get this in. So we've plugged that in. So why don't we use the offline version? So if we go to Arduino Nano, right? If you don't have Arduino Nano, you just add it there. But since we've already added it, so you can see the icons over there. So we click that and I've made a similar program and we want to connect this thing. So again, connect it to there you go, it says it's connected, no problem, and just hit the upload button. And it works. We've made a 0.5 seconds just to deviate from the Arduino Uno. Now, if you want to just make sure this is working, so let's just, sorry, just get this back in focus. Yep, it's flashing, 0.5 second. So we know that that code is valid. So if we go to the ide.mblock.cc version, the off uh, online version, we do the same thing. Okay, let's uh, go to Arduino Nano. We've got the same program as the one on the left. And if we click on connect, right, we do exactly the same thing. Choose the port, right, it connects no problem. But once we hit the upload, same problem. See, we get this, this horrible message saying that it's unable to upload. And 
I don't know why this is happening. I've already reported this to the people at MakeBlock, but I haven't received any response as of yet. I'm wondering if anybody is having similar problems. I haven't tried it with any other boards like M MBOT or Orion. I'm assuming it's the same problem, but uh, this seems to be a fairly recent issue that's happened in the past you know, day or so. I'm hoping that the, the tech guys over at MakeBlock can resolve this pretty soon, especially if we're going to be resuming school with the students, and we, we really need this to be fixed because uh, many of our computers these days don't use M-Block 3, especially if you're using Mac computers. All right, and this only works because of the uh, the one on the left. So yes, we are having problems with this, and there's nothing much we can do about it except wait for the guys at MakeBlock to issue a patch for this uh, upload problem, or we have to use the offline uh, version. Uh, the offline version works fine. The only... Uh, problem I have with the offline version is, let, let's say, for example, if you wanted to, uh, let's say um, I'm using my school Google account to sign in with my uh, teacher's account, and you can see I've got my avatar face there. I've already signed in with a Google account, but let's say if I wanted to sign out and sign in with another Google account, right? So it says you've signed out. Now, if I click this again, Right, it looks like it's going to work, but once I hit the Google uh, icon, it doesn't give me the option, it doesn't give me the Google window to sign in with another Google account. Uh, either it just uh, freezes up or it just does not work. And I have a couple of uh, Google accounts and I don't want to use the teacher's one, so it's it's stuck like that. It, it's just stuck. Whereas, um, say if you are using this one, the uh, online version, you see the interface, the front end looks so much better than, than the one on the left. So for this one, seems far more slick. I mean, that is what you're supposed to have, but this does not work on the uh, offline version, and that's a major flaw, and it's been like that for a while. So I can use my uh, home account, or I can use my another account, or whatever, and uh, yeah, it works fine. See? There you go. So different avatar, different account. So this is why I originally prefer the online version compared to that version. So they really need to fix this problem. Yeah, if anyone has had this problem, hopefully maybe, but maybe by the time you watch this video they will have fixed the problem, but if any of you have this problem, uh, do let us know. All right, so thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.